thing is that there's a lot of similarities between cooking and speaking. Who knew? So let's take a look at what they are, because there is some similarities. First one, when you're cooking, you have to decide what do you want to cook? Makes sense, right? For speaking, you have to decide what's the purpose, what's the message, what it is you want to accomplish. For cooking, you've got a recipe so you know what to do. Speaking the same way, you have all your homework stuff, your preparation homework that you need to do. For cooking, you have your ingredients, what goes into the recipe. For speaking, it's the structure and content is what determines how it works, how that presentation goes. In cooking, they have a philosophy called the first pancake. I was an Eagle Scout, and I remember on a few camping trips, you got the first pancake. You ever heard that phrase before? Basically, the first pancake is always terrible. And the reason you do the first pancake is to see, OK, do I need to move the pan, or is the heat too hot, or do I need to add more water? Or... So the first pancake doesn't usually work. But you have to do that first before you continue on with your recipe when you're cooking. Same thing goes for speaking. It's called rehearsal. <laughs> you need to rehearse your presentation before you give it. Same concept. Lastly, in the cooking, you have a completed meal. That's like the finished product. Speaking is the same way. It's the delivery of your presentation. That's the finished product that you have as a speaker. And then lastly, on cooking, you've got leftovers or when I do my cooking, a lot of leftovers, because it's not very good. <laughs> leftovers. In speaking, we have the same thing, except there we have takeaways. That's what is left over from your presentation. That's what you want the people when they leave. You want them to take away that message. Does that make sense so far? Pretty good analogy, cooking, speaking. OK, all right. So everything I do today, consider it like a buffet. Hey, there's another cooking analogy here. Take what you need, leave the rest. <laughs> so all I ask is that you sample it. And if it works for you, if you think, you know what, that can maybe work for my next presentation, give it a try. If it doesn't work, you don't have to keep eating it. You don't have to keep doing it. Just give it a try. Some things I'll say will work perfectly for your specific presentation to your specific audience with your specific subject matter. Awesome. Other ones won't quite work. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Take what you need, leave the rest makes it personal and come alive, the information. Very good, very good. Yeah. Uh, Kendra, I also, I wanted to do the emphasis on the beginning and the end. Um, I really think that that's, we just get so put up with like the cooking component that I usually forget to summarize the topic at the end and kind of how, there's usually like, oh, you know, what are you gonna do to implement this? But yeah. I really think that just summarizing and kind yeah. of going out with a bang, like yeah. you said, no, that we should I should exactly. Have you been to a presentation where it, it just kind of didn't really have an ending and you kind of, it, it, you feel unsatisfied a little bit, don't you, yeah. in those situations? So you don't want to do that to the eye. Very good. Very good.